welcome to the actual facts tarot. I am Goddess Hatet Hororatet, and this is a general love reading for my Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and Venus. Capricorn, my love, thank you for stopping by and coming to visit me today. Now, don't you forget to hit that like, that share, subscribe to my page, hit the bell notifier to know and I will be uploading more of your videos, love, okay? Now, Capricorn, uh, this read that I'm about to do for you today, love, is in regards to your twin soul, twin flame, twin ray, okay? And about what's going on behind closed doors. <laughs> Cafe. As you can see, I have everything spread out, my love, and I just want to dive into this because, yes, Capricorn, it's like your last reading, my love. Someone did pour out your love, and they know they five have chaliced you. This Scorpio, this Cancer, this Pisces, with she who knows, they know that the High Priestess, they know that they did this to you. They know that they hurt you, okay? But now, my darling, you can see with the three of pentacles, somebody is having their bullseye right on you, okay? The three of pentacles is someone who is uh, shooting at their target in this deck, okay? They're shooting at their target and their target is you, my darling. And what are you doing behind closed doors, Capricorn? Well, hey, you just trying to take a shower or just trying to bathe, you know, get all refreshed and get all relaxed. But they see you as the Queen of Pentacles as well as the Nine of Chalices. You could be dealing with a um, Capricorn like yourself, a uh, Virgo, a Taurus, okay? This person, yeah. They see you in the water and they saw you get undressed. As the Queen of Pentacles, she has her clothes on, but that the nine of uh the nine of chalices, she's in the water bare with no clothes on, okay? So yeah, this person was behind closed doors with you or is behind closed doors with you, seeing you get undressed and going to take your bath or your shower my beauty and they see you as beautiful okay and what they want to do is come towards you the six of wands victoriously <laughs> riding in on his lion okay uh people cheering him on and everything like go and get her go and get her <laughs> Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay. <laughs> yeah, Cafe. Okay, now, baby. Yeah, this person is being victorious coming in at you with this huge snake, Capricorn. Now, the snake represents that phallic energy. It represents, uh, you know, as you can see the snake looking at the woman in the water, he looks like he's ready to devour her. Okay, it's over. It's over for you, Capricorn. So while you in the daggone bath or shower, somebody's going to come in there and devour you. Who just sat back, like I said, watched you remove your clothes and go in there. Now they're coming in with a little robe on <laughs> or a little towel and jumping in with you, baby. Okay, now this person could be the uh, king of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, okay? This is somebody who is very honest, very open, very straightforward. Now, this sword he has in his hand, okay, on his throne, is indeed very magical with the magician right here, with the sword again, okay? So, he was sitting on his throne watching you, uh, like I say, um, bathe, and then he decided to get up off his throne, utilize this sword, and remove his clothing, <laughs> As the magician here doesn't have on any clothes and go to work with the eight of pentacles, baby. Yeah, he going to work. Look, look at this card. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. He going to work and he is basically will not stop until he has succeeded in his objective, my darling. And his objective is, uh, <laughs> 
his objective is being magical and being very emotional and very hot with his energy, okay? Because he know that he hurts you. Yes, she knows it. They know they hurt you. So they're trying to make up with you just while you're trying to relax and chill. You know what I'm saying? From a long day working or whatever, doing what it is that you do during out your day. This person here uh, sees you trying to relax and <laughs> want to relax with you, baby. <laughs> now, my darling, here is the Love Oracle Cards 3. <laughs> Let's see, baby. Okay, we got the Grim Reaper. Yes. Okay, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Okay. So, that whole relationship that you have to this pain by this Scorpio Cancer of Pisces is basically over, okay? They will, they will give no second chances to you feeling like they just hurt you and had you so abused and so much in pain, okay? They have grown and transformed. They want to bring you out of that. They want that to end. So, they've targeted you. You have been targeted for seduction. <laughs> targeted for seduction. And they want you to see it that way now. With the altered view. Okay. This is the altered view. See things differently than they are. Past conditioning, influencing situation. Reevaluate. So yeah. You know. They want you to see it differently Capricorn. You are the queen of pentacles here. Okay, and they want you to see it differently. The things that they have done, they feel, you know, they want you to go ahead and, and realize that that's the past. You know, maybe you don't want this person to uh, to touch you or to come in the water with you or to, to make love to you. But that's the past conditioning uh, and influencing the situation, the past that they hurt you on. They want you to get over that past and see it differently from another point of view. Maybe they never meant to hurt you. Maybe you just saw it like that and you, you know, you became in pain because... Then you started seeing this person as a karmic relationship. Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So you went into loving yourself and beautifying yourself and, and relaxing yourself in the tub. And you were victorious with it. But this person, this king of souls, was watching you the whole time. And was in turmoil themselves. And they were triggered at the fact that you decided to go and remove your clothes and walk by them to the daggone bathroom to take a bath. Like, what did you think you were doing, Cape? Hmm? What did you think? You thought you were going to take off your clothes in front of this king of swords and he wasn't going to utilize that sword? He wasn't going to be magical on you? Uh, uh, no, no, mommy, no. He coming in at you, okay? Yes. And he intends on devouring you and being very victorious doing it. He intends on working on you, working on your entire body, okay? Not leaving any part of you untouched, untasted. You feel me? Yes. Now, here we got the um, sacred, what, de sacred Destiny Oracle, and I pulled you the wisdom, okay? The wisdom. Ah, so got this person has was wisened up to the fact that yeah, you uh, -huh, you took a Capricorn for granted, okay? You took a Capricorn for granted. I've been by your side. I've been loving you, and you will never find anything like me again. So uh, I suggest you go ahead and realize that I am your sacred destiny. The sacred landscape wants you to know things are not as they seem. Look beneath the surface in your life. For example, you might feel that you aren't making progress on a particular project, yet beneath the surface things are happening. Or you might be going through a stormy cycle of hurt, of pain, Capricorn. This card is letting you know that even though the surface of your life might be a bit rocky or wobbly, in a deeper place all is well and serenity and peace are emerging okay so 
you wouldn't have to look deep Capricorn with this altered view baby into the place where your serenity and peace is although this whole this relationship has been wobbly okay although you uh you feel like you're in a stormy cycle with this person things may seem challenging things that may seem challenging will later be revealed to have been beneficial baby so basically what doesn't kill you make you stronger sorry for the okay dang camera keep moving again sorry for that copy sorry for that baby okay so yeah this is a uh, um somebody who uh wants to cut off the fact that you think they are a, a karmic relationship or karma doesn't have to always be bad okay except for in this card we got resentment turmoil <laughs> you know fleeting triggers and whatnot so yeah this person was triggered by you Capricorn and, and you knew exactly what you were doing don't you act like you know you knew what you were doing I'm gonna walk past them and uh you know like look at this look at check me out check what what I'm working with okay my beautiful self okay <laughs> and I'm gonna remove all my clothes in front of you and then go and take a bath and I don't even want to deal with you don't even think about coming here touching me but baby <laughs> well <laughs> That didn't work. Now I did it. <laughs> or maybe that's what you wanted to do. Did you trap? Did you use that magical body of yours to trap this king of swords? Like, oh my goodness, who is fully erected. Okay. <laughs> Capricorn, go ahead and do your thing, baby. Don't put that wisdom nail on that nine of uh, pentacles. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You were wise to do this. Wise, Capricorn. Yes, you were wise to show some flesh because our men are very visual creatures. So, yeah, you walk around in a bath, in a bath towel <laughs> with your butt and your legs all out. And go ahead, baby. What? <laughs> ah, Kathy. Okay, okay, mommy. <laughs> go ahead and do the thing. <laughs> Proud of you, proud of you, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, torture this fool for hurting you, and who knew that they hurt you? And yeah, because they 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 gonna make it up to you, baby. Okay, so yeah, you go ahead and get beautiful and show some flesh. Okay, yeah, you already doing that. So, all right, Capricorn, that is your reading, love. <laughs> okay, uh, I love you, Capricorn. Okay, you know I love you, baby. All right. Peace, love, and light. Kathy, bye-bye.